so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can place the any texture on top of your model so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys here we have a uh, some basic node setup which is i'm going to show you how you can use this and this is the image basically which is i'm going to place on top of this uh, cup okay and if you want to download this image so i have downloaded this image from the pixbay or you can download this image from here and if you want to do practice on this same image so i will put the link into the description you can download this image from the description so let's start it so first of all i just want to open a new file so here you can see guys here we have a one brand new project file so and here we have a that cup model basically so for adding the any image on top of our model so we have so we have to just define that place where we want to add that uh, image that logo basically that can be anything okay so i'm just going to edit mode of this uh, cup and then i'm just going to define that area something like that i just want to select these edges here we want that image basically so first of all what we have to do we have to just select the right click and here we have to just click the mark seam so here you can see guys we have a, that kind of red seam here and that's look fine after selecting our seams we have to just go to our object data property option here you can see that is the object data property option and from here we have to just uh, open this uv map section and here we have to just create one new uv so i just want to create this plus uv and here i just want to change the name of uv come uv something like that okay and i just want to disable that uv by the way something like that okay so after that i will just move my uv reading section from here and here i just want to select my all faces pressing the a and here you can see that is our uv basically right now so what we have to do we have to just press the u and then we have to just hit the unwrap so here you can see guys where we have add the seam so that unwrap is here and rest of the unwrap is here so what we have to do we have to just select that uh, unwrap and press the l to select all linked faces then i just want to scale it and keep it on a one corner side something like that and I, we have to just select this one and here i just want to rotate this something like that and keep it in between here okay so right now we don't need to change anything so first of all we have to just add the texture on our object then we can see what happened exactly so i'm just going to move my shading panel and here i just want to add a new texture and i will just change this principal bsdf as a diffuse bsdf something like that here you can see i just want to enable my rendering mode yeah and after that i will just add that image so i just want to drag and drop that image from here to here something like that and then i will just plug this image into here so here you can see guys where we have uh, did the unwrap that image is automatically uh, is here here you can see but right now it's not look fine and that's not look exactly what we want okay so we'll fix this so how we can fix this we have to just move our uv reading section and here we have to see so i just want to select this part and then i just want to scale it something like that okay and i just want to scale it on uh, this axis as well yeah something like that so here you can see guys here we have uh, that image by the way that look fine now here you can see guys our rough is not look like a realistic cup so for that we have to just move again our shading panel and here we have to add some extra node so first of all i just want to add one node it's called basically x node basically i just want to add one mix node mix shader here basically and i just want to plug it in between here and then i just want to duplicate this diffuse bsdf and here i just want to set this color as a black and decrease this as a zero and keep it here okay so right now you can't see any changes but what we have to do we have to just add one glossy node as well i just want to add one glossy node it's a glossy bsdf basically okay but uh, right now we don't have any slot to plug this node so for that we have to add one more node it's called basically add shader and we have to just plug it in between here and then we have to just plug this here to here so now we can see the glossiness in our object basically so first of all we have to just decrease our glossiness from here and we have to just decrease the uh, little color into a grayish form something like that so here you can see our cup is look now fine we have a little glossiness in our cup as well okay and we can decrease little more yeah and we can just decrease the color yeah i think that's look fine 
ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज लुक ग्रेट टू मी बट वी हैव टू जस्ट एड वन मोर एक्स्ट्रा नोट टू क्रिएट दिस कप इज मोर रियलिस्टिक फॉर दैट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू जस्ट एड वन लेयर वेट नोट बेसिकली आई जस्ट वांट टू एड वन लेयर वेट नोट एंड प्लग दिस फेसिंग टू इन टू आर एफ एस सी ओके आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू प्लग दिस हेयर एफ एस सी एंड हेयर यू कैन सी नाउ वी हैव अर यू कैन सी गैस नाउ इट्स लुक मोर रियलिस्टिक बट वी हैव टू जस्ट डिक्रीज इन टू आर जीरो पॉइंट वन yeah so now it's look fine and here you can see guys that's look great if i will just rotate my sdri from here to here so here you can see you can see the great glossiness here and we have also logo into our top of our object if i will just change our uh, sdri so here you can see that's look great we can change more here you can see that's look fine so that's how you can add the any texture on top of your model okay there is a little trick which is i show you here we have to just add some uh, nodes together and we'll just get the that beautiful result basically here you can see you can use any kind of lighting according to your suitability okay i like probably everything okay so i like uh, this light basically okay so here you can see that's look great and if we'll just take a render so here you can see how it look like so here you can see guys that's look fine okay so that's how you can add any kind of logo any kind of image on top of your uh, model that that is a very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you so i hope you'll enjoy this video and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries or fame suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys